Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, thanks for checking out one of my videos for the first time. As you can probably tell by the name of this video, I'm going to talk about how I usually make my cheat sheets. I know I asked whether anyone would be interested in this video back in September of last year. Really sorry about how long it's taken for me to actually put this out, and thanks for sticking with me despite my non-existent posting schedule. Anyway, let's get on to the actual video. Before writing up my cheat sheet, I decided on the maximum number of pages I want the cheat sheet to consist of. It's good to know what you're aiming for before you start. Otherwise, often without a specific goal in mind, you won't be as decisive on what information to keep and what information to leave out when writing them out. And instead, what often happens is you write out the notes again word for word, which definitely isn't ideal. So when making cheat sheets, the first thing I'll usually do would be read through my notes and highlight them using a color code. I personally use the following one. Blue for definitions, pink for things to memorize, orange for examples, green for laws or theorems, for example the laws of thermodynamics and chemistry, and yellow for other things which might be useful, for example exceptions to a law. After highlighting everything, I usually move on to making a start on the cheat sheet. I don't include anything in the cheat sheet, which are examples, i.e. orange highlights, unless my specification tells me that I need to learn it. This is because I use a cheat sheet as something meant to help with information retention and to reduce the amount of time spent during last minute studying, whilst I use my notes for understanding things. Therefore, if while reviewing my cheat sheet before my exam, I run into something that I don't understand, I go revise using my notes. When making the cheat sheet, I don't use too many colored pens in writing up, otherwise it would take longer than it needs to be. I personally use a blue Muji pen to write out the title and headers of the summary sheets, and a black pen which doesn't smudge when I highlight over it. I used to use a black Muji pen to make my cheat sheets, but using a mild liner over it was usually not the best idea since they smudged them. Therefore nowadays, I'd either use the Zebra Sarasa Dry or a Viro. A few days after making my cheat sheets, I'll usually review it by adding color using a few highlighters. My personal favorites are the mild liners. I hope this helps with revision in general. Obviously, this is my personal take on making them. So if you have any questions or extra tips on making cheat sheets, do leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you enjoyed this.